Welcome to Space of Lucidity. This is episode number 21. And if you're wondering why Abhishek is not here, it's because he's traveling in Nepal with his girlfriend. Yeah, traveling. And we are not jealous. Not at all. Hi, today we're going to talk about traveling. You know, if you're not guessed it. Yeah, already. So yeah, uh, Abhishek is traveling, so that's why you know he can't be on the show. So we are sort of filling in. So, <laughs> so yeah, so that happened. So yeah, so the idea is that why traveling is important. You know, why is it important to you know sort of leave our space and meet other people, and you know get out there, understand different you know ways of existence. You know, more often than not, you know we kind of get stuck in our own space. That way, I've been lucky. You know. I traveled a lot Very as a lucky. Kid. I traveled a lot as a kid, you know, because of my family background. And even after that, I I got a you know lot of chances to you know at least uh, go around Europe. So yeah, I've been pretty lucky that way. And throughout this, what has been one of the main factors is that the number of people I've met is like I've seen you know a lot of different cultures and ideas. But more often than not, I've what I've really noticed is how you know similar we have been in so many ways. Yeah, yeah, like I was. Like you know, I previously said in one of my episodes that it's necessary to treat everyone like humans. So it's basically that traveling is basically that introduces you to an entirely different setup, entirely different culture. It might seem so alien at the beginning, but at the end of the day, when you meet the atoms of the entire huge system, you realize, oh my God, you know, we're so similar. We are all humans at the end of the day. We wake up in the morning. We want to eat. We want love. And yeah, we just want a ho- home where we can go back and sleep. So yeah, it's that's everyone around the world. Yeah, and I think it even kind of allows you to grow personally because you know just leaving your space and getting out there itself is a big deal. Absolutely. And when it comes to traveling, there's this perception that you know it's something really adventurous. You know, oh, leave it to the daring people. <laughs> I like to sit at home. But uh, you know that kind of attitude, I think, is, is seriously flawed. You know, traveling is for everyone. You know, everyone should you know at least experience this once or twice in their lives. Where you know you just go out there and risk it all. And it really isn't you know risking it in the you know the real sense because I think it's more of an hype. Because if the whole place you know the entire world was that dangerous, people wouldn't be there. And especially true in India because we're such a vast country with so many people with so many different ideas. I think just you know you have to see that beauty. Yeah, absolutely. Go out and explore, man. True. <laughs> but there is one thing that comes in the way of this whole exploration. So uh, one reality about my life is that I do not have a passport right now. My passport expired. Hence, if Anurag were to ever get a nice project to do outside India, I cannot be on the production crew <laughs> because I don't have a passport. So I think. Uh, of course, we are not jealous of Sheikh is in Nepal and all of that, but we'd like to talk about how borders are bullshit, and if people meet people, then the, then there's no need for politics. No, definitely. Like in our present framework of existence, you know how we have formed nations. You know that's going to be a different topic. <laughs> but in this present framework, our borders are too tightly controlled. Like I think if we just met people more easily, half our political problems would be solved. Because I have met Pakistanis, I have met Bangladeshis, and then you realize, you know, it's just a media hype. You cannot take the you know perception of twenty, fifty, or thousand, or even ten thousand people. Uh-huh, literally. Yeah, and you know, make it a purest statement of hate, you know, without yeah. interaction. Yeah. And because whenever you meet anybody one on one, it is very hard for somebody to hate you directly. It's just it's not humanly possible unless they have you know a big political agenda. That's you know, that's a yeah. different. direction yeah and the funniest part is you know we've seen it in movies we've seen it in dramas and we've seen it in stories and you know we see it all around that you know meet people people meet people you like you know human meets human and realizes oh so human like it's everywhere it's become that redundant and repetitive and yet somehow it's and also the most annoying fact is that all of this is dependent on trade yeah you know the commerce is deciding whether we meet people from this country or whether we meet people from that country oh mere country ka right now you know they have good student exchange relationships so oh i've gone and yeah seen like that's unfair yeah like it's like money talks because okay. it's easier for a you know a shirt from india to travel <laughs> to usa or europe or even africa or and a leather bag to go all over the world from calcutta 
but the person who is making those bags will probably never get a chance he'll be denied this opportunity at every front yeah. and i seriously doubt that you know immigration can be really held responsible that oh people will run away because mm-hmm. honestly 1 billion people are not going anywhere yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you know i would like just like to you know end this episode with the thought that we need to travel you know all of us in our own capacities whether it's just leave your city and go to the next leave your neighborhood and go to the next it starts with the small steps man and it's you know it's always leaving your comfort zone that defines and changes your perspective meet somebody you've not met before learn a new culture eat a different Terrific. you know kind of cuisine yeah. hate it love it but at least try it once yeah absolutely puke it out if you want it but <laughs> Cool. So I think that's it for today, and we are going to say bye. Yeah, Abhishek, we love you. Not jealous. Yeah, not at all. Fuck, I'm getting emotional.